So today I'm going to be unboxing my brand new Nintendo Switch OLED version. Got the new white dock, the white Joy-Cons. So I think without much further ado, we're going to go ahead and start the unboxing. So let me go ahead and get everything ready. So let's have a look there. Of course. Lovingly packed by an awesome uh, courier. Got notifications just recently. Some of these little, little uh, pack-in bubbles. Put this to one side. Make sure you recycle these property as long as you've got like a nice little recycle um, text on them. It means you can recycle. So we yeah, so got a few of these. So let's, uh, get rid of these. Recycle those later. And I believe what we're left with is a box. So I hope it's over here. Here we go. So let's have a look at what we've got. So this is the front of the box. In fact, it, this is actually a smaller box than originally came with the Switch. Maybe there's some kind of complaints as to waste it, wastage. This is more like um, like a vertical shaped box compared to the one. Yeah, it's nice and secured. If it fits, that's it. Yes, Hyrule, definitely true. And yep, yeah, it is nicely secured. Um, let me move that over here. Yeah, there we go. There's that. And there's some stuff at the back as well. So, as you can see, the good thing about the Switch is that you can basically use it in multiple different ways. Yeah, brand new stand, I'll show you later. You can actually have it a bit easier for when you do the, uh, the tabletop mode. So when you want to play on a table, that is actually a decent way to do it. But also the TV mode, which is where most of most of the people will going to play it, especially streaming. Um, in which case, there's going to be the brand new dock, which does have the Ethernet port built in. So if you happen to be quite close to your router, you can enjoy a nice fast connection. In fact, I might plug that downstairs later and download my games because that's going to be pretty quick, I would imagine. Um, also, 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 we have the actual switch itself, which is over there. So, um, Indio Carbon, good to see you. Welcome on in. Hopefully you are doing good. Another amazing friendly face. So yes, um, handheld mode uh, is going to be the main draw of this particular switch because the uh, bezel is actually going to be um, smaller on the new switch. So you actually get the full 7 inch screen size, which is good. Also, the model is very slightly bigger and very slightly heavier than the original two. And also as a little bonus, you do get these two white Joy-Cons as well. Otherwise, you can go ahead and get the, the neon uh, neon red and blue color switch as well, uh, new switch as well. But there we go. Um, retail price for this is, I believe, £309 in the UK. And I believe it is $350 in US. Uh, you can look online to see what the um, amount is in your local currency. So there we go. A nice pretty box. Um, so it's going to come with a few things. It's got the, the Switch tablet itself, which is the main unit. It's going to get the two uh, Joy-Cons left and right. The uh, left and right Joy-Con strap. We also have the um, the grip, HDMI cable, uh, power adapter, and the dock itself, the new dock. So with that said, let's open this up and see what is inside. Let's go ahead and uh, pull on this tab. All right, cool. Let's have a look. That's this is basically saying um, press the power button to e enter or exit sleep mode. That's going to be the top left of the switch. And I can hold the little uh, buttons on the joy to detach from the switch or the, or the grips. So go ahead and open this, up, open this box up. All right, so we have a few things here already. So here's one of the joy -Cons. This is, I believe, the right one. Um, difference between these, well, you can actually tell. Um, let me just take them out of these little bags. So, it feels quite nice and good. Um, I believe these are mainly the same as the Joy-Cons that they've released before. Um, apparently they are working on to make them like, more reliable in the long term, but you may still get the old Joy-Con drift issues. It's, it's largely the same as the previous ones. Um, with these, you do get some special features. I believe the right one is the one that's got the heart rate sensor. Um, so for some games, I'll use those. And the right Joy-Con has the home button uh, control stick and the um, the actual action buttons, uh, A, B, by X. And you also have the plus button, which in most games are at the start. You have the two shoulder buttons. So in fact, there's a lot of buttons. So you can actually literally play with one of these and just play a lot of games on its own. 
But otherwise you'll need the second Joy-Con, which is over here. So let me go ahead and just, this is the left Joy-Con. So this one is, again, kind of similar to the other one. You've got the control stick, you've got the bu directional buttons this time. Um, again, depends on what you here play. Uh, minus. Uh, you've got the buttons here. Also, there are two smaller shoulder buttons on the inside, which you may not realize. Again, they're just two little ones. Um, if you're on the grip, they basically just ignore those. I don't necessarily do a lot with them, but it's still quite useful. And there's a little uh, sync button as well for when you want to connect it to your device. Uh, yep, so that's the white Joy-Con, which is pretty cool. I've actually never seen like these, yeah, obviously white Joy-Con because these are brand new. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Nice to pair them with other ones and see see what they like, maybe get a few few things. So we also have the other, um, well, probably the biggest deal of the whole thing is the, the Switch tablet, which is in this nice protective uh, cover. So I can go ahead and open this up. Have a look. There we go. So, uh, yeah, it pretty much feels very very similar in terms of weight and uh, dimensions to the original um, Switch. Have a look. Obviously, the big one of the biggest differences is the big kickstand because as you can see, uh, let me get the angle right. Uh, yeah, there we go. So it has an actual adjustable um, stand, which bends all the way back over here. You can have it pretty flat, or as you're playing, which is pretty cool. Or you can kind of have it at like a more upright angle as well. So it's definitely definitely more angles this time. So make sure I put my new switch tablet over there so it doesn't get. So, in here we have the new charging inductor. So, uh, for those of you that may be watching from uh, outside of the UK, so this is a UK plug. So rather than the, the what you might expect with the like the US or the Australia standard, this is the UK plug, which uses these three prongs. And yeah, effectively it just goes in like that. So that's what the UK plug looks like. And has the typical... Um, USB-C um, port, which is not. also in here is a HDMI cable too, which uh, goes with the duck. Also in here, if I unbox this bit, we have one of the Joy-Con grips. So again, something that comes standard with the Switch. Anyway, so what you would do with a grip is you would take your Joy-Cons and slide them in like so, and then you just slide the other one in like this. Um, one thing to note is you do have to be careful be careful with the plus and minus. Don't ever get those uh, mixed up, otherwise you will get into trouble. Um, but yeah, essentially this is the Joy-Con grip. Again, same as the, the one that you would normally get. Also have these little um, Joy-Con grips as well. I can show you those too. Again, these ones are, these ones are quite cool. Uh, let me go ahead and get this. So yeah, with this, you just press these little buttons and then that lets these slide out of the railings. So, there's only one thing left in the box. I can, I'll can i do a recap anyway uh, in a bit. So, let's have a look and see what it's this. This is the other part of the Switch and this is probably, that's gonna be the thing that's most important for streamers and um, I would say uh, competitive gamers. So, let's see what's inside. This is the brand new, um, Switch OLED dock. So this is the yeah the new dock. I have a look. So I believe this back panel can effectively come off. So that shows you the inside. It's got these nice little uh, yep. So you can see the if I have a look if I show you those are the nice little uh, grooves that are inside here. I have to admit it's got a nice kind of it's got a nice kind of sheen like on the front. You can probably see if I hold this up here. You can probably just about see there's that whole the Switch logo there. Which has got a nice little indent. It's got a nice, nice kind of feel to it. I believe also the curved edges are one thing that was um, to do with the complaints with the original dock, which has the harsh edges. I believe that's one good thing. Although I believe they also recommend you do still use your um, uh, dock dock suck if you happen to have one. So yeah, on here, if we have a look at the back, there is actually a dedicated LAN port, so you can plug your typical uh, Cat5 Ethernet cable in there. Um, yeah, I would say it's pretty sturdy. Looks pretty decent. Has uh, two USB slots at the front. Also has a uh, little AC adapter at the back and HDMI out. 
So there's two USB slots. You can also get a USB hub for your Switch as well if you need more uh, ports. But yeah, there we go. There is the dock as well. As you can see, this one is asking me to slide my Joy-Cons in. We are going to end it here. So thanks everyone for checking out this awesome unboxing of the Switch OLED. I will be putting the highlights of this on YouTube for you guys as well.